Hello and welcome to today's resiliency group. Today we'll be focusing on self-esteem. We all know self-esteem can be an important part of success. Too little can leave one person feeling deflated. Self-esteem levels at extreme highs or extreme lows can be harmful. It is important to understand how to find a good balance in between. A healthy self-esteem is when one is able to see and accept both their strengths and weaknesses, and has the ability to express their needs, has a positive outlook and displays confidence. Self-esteem is associated with better health outcomes and longevity, likely higher optimism, relaxation, gratitude and joy. The part of the brain that handles our memory, the hippocampus, it, this plays a large role in our self-esteem. Autobiographical memory, a key part of our sense of self and our identity, how we feel about ourselves and the stories we tell ourselves and others about who we are, are housed here in the hippocampus. Neuroimaging research has shown that the hippocampus is larger and more active in people with greater self-esteem. Researchers at Dartmouth College identified a region of the brain that seems to predict a person's self-esteem levels. The frontal striatal pathway in the brain. The pathway is a connection between the prefrontal cortex. So this is the very front of your brain that is associated with critical thinking, logical thinking, planning, organization, all those higher cognitive processes and the ventral striatum. As we learned before, the medial prefrontal cortex is also where we have information about who we are, our self-knowledge how we process information about ourselves, how we pick up clues about who we are. The ventral striatum, it houses the feelings of motivation and reward. So as you can see, this is where our emotions, our motivation is housed. And this pathway you can see connecting from the very front of your brain to the deep core of your brain is what is strengthened during the practice. So for today's practice, I'm going to have you focus on an image of a rainbow. So let's begin by getting into a comfortable position. If you are comfortable, you can close your eyes at this time. You can also choose just to look at a place in your room that's not busy, perhaps a corner, perhaps a blank wall, and just start to notice the breath come in and the breath leave the body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now just pay attention to your body. Are there any areas that you need to relax? Perhaps uncross your legs, just let them sink into the floor. Let your arms just relax on the armrests or by your side. Just release any tension in the neck or in the shoulders. Just let the body relax. So start to unite the breath and body. Start to bring awareness. We're going to inhale for five. And exhale for five. Inhale for five. And exhale. Two more deep breaths like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now for the next minute, I want your breath rate just to return back to a natural flow. I want you to start paying attention by focusing on your breath. Notice any thoughts that come in and make the decision just to let those thoughts go, let them float on by and bring your attention back to your breath.
in mindfulness. We just want to be mindful of this moment. Anything that happened in the past or you're anticipating will happen in the future can float on by right now. We just want to con connect to this moment. Just focus on your breath. There's no judgment. If you do notice other thoughts coming in, just notice it and bring your attention back to your breath. Now I want you to imagine a rainbow, the beautiful rainbow. The rainbow made just for you and it's about you. Now, as you look at the very top of the rainbow, I want you to think about the best thing about you. Just take a minute to think silently. What is the best thing about yourself? Are you a mother, a father? A daughter, a son? Are you compassionate, hardworking, kind, patient, generous? Are you fun? Pick one thing about you that is the best thing about you. This is the red of your rainbow. Now I want you to look at the yellow. Just Focus in on the beautiful, bright yellow of your rainbow. The yellow part of the rainbow is what you like most about yourself. Just take a minute to think. What do you like most about yourself? Is it your smile? Is it your ability to make others happy? Is it your love for an activity or maybe a talent you possess? The thing that you most like about you. This is the yellow of your rainbow. Now look at the green. The green is what you are like when you are at your best. So take a minute to think. What are you like when you are at your best? Are you patient? Are you energetic? Are you generous? Helpful? This is what you are like when you are at your best. It is the green to your rainbow. Now focus on the blue of the rainbow. The blue is who or what brings out the best in you. Take a minute to think who or what brings out the best in you. Is it your significant other? Is it a bright sunny day? Is it a passion of yours? This is the blue to your rainbow. Finally, focus on the purple of the rainbow. The purple represents your most significant achievement. What is the most significant achievement in your life? Is it being a mother or a father? Is it a job you've had? Is it achieving self-love? achieving self-care, what is the most significant achievement? Your significant achievement is the purple of your rainbow. Now I want you to continue imagining along with me that there is a raindrop. 
The raindrop is near your rainbow. This raindrop represents something other people perceive you as, but you know you are not. Just take a minute to think about something others might perceive you as, but you know you are not. Now in your mind's eye, see the raindrops fall away from your rainbow. Acknowledge that you are the rainbow. You are not what others perceive you as. You are not the raindrop, you are the rainbow. Remember that your rainbow is all the beautiful things that make you great. Enjoy your rainbow. Appreciate your rainbow. As we wrap up here, just in reflection, think about how the rainbow made you feel. Did it feel empowering to know that you are not a raindrop, that you are the beautiful rainbow? Remember your rainbow and the beautiful things that make you great. Thank you for joining our self-esteem exercise today. I hope to see you at our next group.